Hello, Roberto Santos. Hello, Aline Davis. Qué vida para ser eterna cuando yo esa vida quisiera yo la que tiene Don Davy. Qué chivo. <laughs> How are you today? How are you today? Hello, Aline. How are you, Aline? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Very good, very good. Excellent, I'm ready, ready for class. Okay, we are ready too. Hello, Roberto. Hi, Roberto, how are you today? Ah, very good, Roberto, nice. And we have Sandra, hi, Sandra. Hello, Herman Reyes, how are you? Hello. Hello. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. ¿Me escuchan bien? ¿Me escuchan bien? Sí. Okay, very good. Uh, who can tell me what information you remember about yesterday's class? What information do you remember about yesterday's class? Who can tell me? Me? Yes. ¿Qué información oh, te acuerdas de la que okay. de ayer? Well, I remember we was um, answer and, and ask and answer question. For example, can you about me? about uh, the past tense? Can you give me an example? Ask me a question. Okay. Um, do you have pets? Very good. Is that simple past or simple present? Uh, simple present. That's right. Do you have a pet? Okay. Very good. <clears throat> Alain, Alain David, yes. what, do you, what do you remember about yesterday's class? Uh, I remember we were, we were talking about uh, some questions. Like, do you have a pet? Do you live in an apartment or a house? And we were asking and we were, we were talking words only, Very only good. remember that. Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, now what I would like for us to do is we are going to review the video that we were practicing yesterday. In yesterday's class, we were watching a video explaining the grammar referring to the simple past. So right now, what we are going to do is we are going to look at that information and review it one more time for today's class. I would like for everybody to please pay attention and we are going to go ahead by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. For example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. At this moment, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Does anybody have any questions about this vocabulary? Uh, no. Okay. 
anybody have any questions about this vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Yes, what is your I question? question. Uh, I don't know what it is, background. Ah, background, they're here, discuss your background. Background means eh, tu pasado. Tu, eh, tu pasado educativo, tu pasado laboral, your background. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yes. All right, now we are going to go ahead and analyze the video. Yo sé que vimos el video ayer, lo vamos a volver a ver hoy como un repaso. I want everybody, quiero que todos, I want you all to have in your hand a notebook and a pen. I want you to have okay. a notebook and a pen because I want you to take notes. I want you to write. Sorry, teacher. Right? Teacher, it is uh, very noisy. It's what? It's very noisy. I don't oh, okay. listen good to you. Oh, okay. I want you to write. I want you to take notes here in your notebook. Okay, I want you to take notes <clears throat> in your notebook when you listen to the video. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Yes. Okay, let's listen, please. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're gonna try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're gonna focus on creating statements either positive or negative as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago and we're also gonna talk about making negative statements in the past such as I didn't speak English then. Finally what we're gonna do is we're gonna make questions in the past and the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past either with the verb to be as you can see is slightly different and also using the auxiliary did let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down the formula real fast in order for us to make sentences in the past particularly positive sentences in the past we're gonna have a subject and then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved notice that I had to change that to the past for most verbs we will simply add ed that's what we call regular verbs and for irregular verbs um, then for those you simply have to remember what they are so for example we have the verb teach and then the past of that verb is taught but I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs 
in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't, OK? And then this follows the verb, and then whatever a compliment. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions, and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did. And then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH verb. And that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with, did you, and the verb in its present form, take. The complement is English classes in Argentina. There we go. Okay. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused. And so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice.
Sorry about that, guys. All right. So now what I would like for us to do on this activity is we are going to be moving forward and we are going to answer the knowledge check. Now, for the knowledge check, we are going to choose the best response to this question. Did she play soccer in high school? No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. So I would like for you to answer these questions in pairs. Answer the questions in pairs. And then we will answer the questions together. Any questions? Does anybody have any questions at this moment? No. What are you going to do in this activity? What are you going to do in this activity? ¿Qué vamos a hacer en esta actividad? We're going to answer the, all the questions. That's right. And then we will check it together. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay, let's do it. No, me must have. Let's go. Hello, Hector. Hola, buenas noches. How are you? Five, five. five your, your partner is Ricardo and Sonia. You are going to work with Ricardo and Sonia. You have to click in the button that says Ingresar a Sesión Pequeña. Okay, está bien. Ok, ya le mandé la solicitud, solo le tiene que dar clic al botoncito. Tú ya se lo di, teacher. Ya parece que lo di. Ah, ok, lo voy a volver a, a mandar. Lo voy a poner en las 5. Vamos a ver. Ok. Ya puede ingresar. Ok, ya terminaron. Ya veo que ya terminaron todos. Hello, hello, Francisco. Hello, German. Hello, German Reyes. Hello back in action. <clears throat> okay, so for this activity, what I would like for you guys to do is we are going to answer the questions. Let's look at number two. Let me have 
one volunteer, please. Hector Melendez, number two. Hector Melendez, number two. Shows the best response to the question. Where did you grade for college? Very good. Did you? It, when did you graduate from college? And what is your answer? What is your answer? Okay, very good. Hector Melendez, excellent. I graduated from college in 2005. Number three, German Reyes. Number three, German Reyes. Choose the best question, so much different from I graduated in Houston, Texas. Excellent. I grew up in Houston, Texas. Where did you grow up? That is correct. Number four, please, Carlos Calderon. Number four, Carlos Calderon. Number four. Number four, say, I began to study English two years ago. <laughs> okay. Yes. When did you begin to study English? I began to study English two years ago. Go. Number five, Brian. Number five, Brian. Did you have a pet when you were a child? Did you have a pet when you were a child? What is your response? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Correct. Now, what I want you to do at this moment is I want you to write five questions five questions. I want you to write a question with did, when, when uh, where, when, and did. I want you to write five questions in your notebook. Five questions in your notebook using when, where, and did. Five questions, please. Five questions, please. In your notebook. Using, using when? Using when, mm -hmm. where, and did when where and did five questions total five questions total Are you finished? Yes, I am. Is everybody finished? Oh, yeah, teacher. Okay. Now, what I would like for everybody to do is I would like for you to ask the question to your partner. Ask the question to your partner. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer, ask Mr. Santos the question. 
one volunteer. Ask Mr. Santos the question, please. Can I go first? Of course, Mario Escobar. Ask Mr. Santos the question, please. Okay, Mr. Santos. So right. the first question that I have, can I go ahead? Yes, please ask me the question. Uh, the first question is, did your mom pay the taxes? Did your mom pay the taxes? Very good question. Did your mom pay the taxes? My response is yes, she did. Okay, good. Okay, another volunteer, ask me the question. Can I ask? Yes, Carlos. Mr. Santos, did you buy the notebook? Did you buy uh, a notebook? notebook? Did you buy a notebook? As a matter of fact, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Do you see my notebook? Yes, I see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the answer is yes, I did. Okay, somebody else ask me a question with when. A question with when. Um, yes, I, I have a question with you. Yes. When, when did you mom the pay uh, taxes. When did when did your mom your mom not pay, pay the taxes her tax oh, her taxes her taxes. My answer is she paid her paid. taxes in March. All right, now somebody asked me a question with where. Where? Where do you live when you were a child? Where did you live when you were a child? Excellent question. I lived in Houston, Texas. Okay, now what I would like for everybody to do is we are going to work in pairs. We're going to work in pairs and I would like for you to practice and respond. Practice and respond. One student ask the question, the other student respond to the question. Do you understand? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, this is conversation practice. Conversation practice, let's go. One student ask the question, and the other student respond to the question. Tiene que darle click al botoncito que dice ingresar a sesión privada o ingresar a sesión pequeña. Allí le tiene que dar click para que usted pueda trabajar con su compañero. Veo que Maria Burgos no entró. Dígame, señorita, ¿en qué le puedo ayudar? Maria, ¿tiene problemas con su computadora? Ok.
Pero es que no, hola, no tengo las preguntas. Ok, sería. Solo... Hola. Hola. Ajá. Ahora sí. ¿Me ayudas? ¿Me ayudas con las preguntas? Pues, o las hacen Yo tengo algunas aquí donde dice. Y he was. He was your sister in, in the house. Es como. ¿Está tu hermana en la casa? Um, ¿O está tu hermana en la casa? He was your sister in the house. He was. Sería ahí el, el pasado. He was your sister in, the house, in your house. Eso sería um, ocupando el, el pasado de estuvo. Uh -huh. bueno. Ahí tengo otra con did Sería Did you buy the meat? Que sería Tú compraste la carne o algo así uh -huh. Did you Did you meet the, the, the meat? Yeah. Y te tengo que responder uh -huh. las preguntas O solo me las vas a uh -huh. leer entonces sería de que contestara, contestaras también así con, utilizando siempre did, was y, y where sería. Por ejemplo, dice were they visiting their father cuando ellos visitaron a su padre. Estaban ellos, estaban ellos, sería, were they visiting their fathers? Y ahí se contestaría, yes, yes, they did, algo así. Eso, eh, lo que nos pedían era ocupar este, los verbos was, were y did, ¿verdad? Ajá. Para formar las, las oraciones o preguntas. En este caso son preguntas. Yo tengo dos. Yo no hice ajá. las cinco. Hice ah, solamente vaya, dos. Ahí pero, ajá, pero vos... Veo yo que te ubicas mejor que yo, así que me ayudas. Vamos a ver. Si tengo un error, ajá. Vamos a ver. Hice una. Where do you go on last vacation? Where do you go? Uh, where did, sería eso. Where did you go? Where did. Ajá, uh -huh. where did. did. Uh -huh. Where did you Para ponerlo en el pasado. Uh -huh. Y tengo la otra. Did you go to university? Did you, go? Did you, go? Did you go? At university sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. At the university. Y sería la respuesta, yes, I did go to the university, si, si se quiere extender, si no, uh -huh. Ajá, yes, I did, o no, I didn't, también, para, como para decir, como negarlo, uh -huh. yes, I didn't, están, yo di, pienso que están bien, porque no, por el, el verbo en pasado, Go to be. ¿Cuál fue la primera? La que te hice. Ajá. Where me dijiste que tenía que ponerle el did you go on last vacation? Did you go uh -huh, on the last vacation? On the last vacation. Ahí uh -huh. estamos bien. Y did eso. you go at a university? Uh -huh. No hice más. 
Ajá, yo creo que están bien porque sería un verbo como regular, go, ¿verdad? No se puede modificar, pienso. Uh -huh. Ahí estarían los, las cinco preguntas. Completando con, con las tres mías y las, Hola, dos, yo las dos tuyas. Sí. Sí, yo también me entiendo confundir un poco con los verbos porque por lo mismo, ¿verdad? Que hay... All right, guys. Veo que la mayoría ya había terminado. So, en este momento vamos a cambiar parejas. Cambiamos, compañero. Let's go. Eh, Ricardo Figueroa, ¿qué se me hizo? Ricardo Figueroa, ¿qué se me hizo? Hello, hello, Ricardo. Ricardo, Ricardo. Este, ¿tiene las preguntas por ahí o, o cómo le hacemos? Te voy a preguntar y si tengo algo malo me corregí. No, no hay problema, Dele, aquí está. Vamos a, no se preocupen. La torre. No, did, did you take a shower yesterday? Ah, shower. Take a shower. Ah, yes. I did take a shower yesterday. I was clean yesterday. <laughs> no, no, Did you study two years ago? Travel. Esa, esa es? Travel, viajar. Ah, travel. Ma. Um, I haven't traveled within the last two years, honestly. I don't travel that much. Uh, <laughs> I'm not that one. Mm -hmm. Preguntame si querés, voy a, a ver si te puedo responder. Oh, claro. Pregunto yo. Voy a tratar de empezar. Bye. Um, when did you complete this course? When I complete the course. O oh, mejor la voy a cambiar. Eh, voy a hacer otra pregunta. Where is the supermarket? Where is, Where is the supermarket? ¿Dónde está el supermercado? Yeah. La supermarket. Hotel. Good. Buena, buena, excelente. Vamos con otra ahí. Um, when did you when did you make cookies? Make 
Cookies. Uh, I don't make cookies. <laughs> wow, chivo, vamos con otra ahí. Eh. Eat cookies. You only eat cookies. <laughs> uh, where, where were you born? Where I was born. When? When? Where? 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 Mm -hmm. I was. I was born in Mexico. No, but yeah, yeah, where? That's that's good. Sí. Sí. Eh, Otra pregunta ahí o no, o ya no tiene. Si querés preguntarme, ¿por qué no tengo ahorita? Um, when, when did you go to Guatemala? Uh, I went to Guatemala two days ago. Okay, guys, um, everybody is finished. Let me have two volunteers, please. Let me have two volunteers, please. I am here if you want. Okay, Brian, one volunteer, Brian. Very good, Brian. And let me have one more volunteer. One more volunteer, Brian. And hello, Brian. Hello. Uh, one more volunteer. Here. Okay, Davy, Brian and Davy. Brian, I want you to ask the questions and Davy respond to the questions, please. Brian, oh. ask the question and Davy respond to the question. Okay. okay. The first question is, where did you study at university? Sorry? Where did you study at university? Where? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the University Francisco Gaviria. Excellent. Next question. Okay. Uh, where did you live when you were a child? Where? Did you live when you were a child? I live in Charchuapa. Okay. Very good. Next question. Is, did you go to swim? Do you like to swim? No, I don't like swim. No, okay. I don't like swimming. Swimming, okay. That's right. Next question, Brian. Okay. Where did you born? Where were you born? Where were did you born? Where, where you were you born? Okay. Adonde naciste? I was where, born in where? Chalchuapa. I was okay. born in Chalchuapa. Very good. Okay. Last the last question, Brian. Did you play basketball? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, applause for Brian and Davies. Good job. Now, Davy, ask the question and Brian, respond to the question, please. Davy, ask the question and Brian, respond to the question, please. Did you play basketball in the college? Yes, I did play basketball in the college. Where, when did you finish the high school? 
when did you finish? I finished the high school in 2015. Where did you finish your homework? My homework, uh, I finished my homework yesterday. Good. When were you born? I born I in was. El Salvador. I was born in El Salvador. Okay, I, I don't have any question. All right, applause for Brian and Davy. Thank you. At this moment, does anybody have any more questions about this topic that you want me to explain? Does somebody have a question that you want me to explain? No? No. Okay. So what I would like for us to do in the following activity is we are going to be working from the platform and we are going to be moving on to the section that says, by the end of this class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements in the past tense using the verb to be. Additionally, you will be able to talk about your background in English. For example, explaining where you were born and when you came to the United States. These English conversation skills will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. Let's listen and watch the video, please. Listen and watch the video, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make positive and negative statements using the bird to be. Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as, I was born in China. I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about this chart and we're gonna quickly focus on the left side of this chart, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to make positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in, let's say, Mexico. The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic, it's one basic rule, and that's the verb to be. So let me, uh, let me get to that. What I wanna do is explain the following concept, and that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it, the verb to be that we're gonna have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're gonna have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronouns. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like, we were born in Argentina, um, you were born in Argentina, they were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain, uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So in order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the verb to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in Argentina. Okay, and then what I want to say is I also want to give a negative statement. So I want to say I wasn't born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning. Um, and 
what I want to do at this time, I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red and I would like to color uh, the verb in green and then the complement. I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject we can change that to any subject that we would like. So for example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Um, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina, right? Uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this. Uh, he wasn't born in, Ar in China. Right? I was born in Argentina, I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change this subject, now we use you, so therefore we're going to have to use the verb to be where, and in our negative statements that would be weren't. So uh, you were born in Argentina, and of course we can say you and this will be in its negative form. So this will be, you weren't born in China. So what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born? And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then you will tell me something like, I was born in Brazil. And obviously, because you were born in Brazil, you weren't born in Argentina. So your statement could be, I was born in Brazil, I wasn't born in Argentina. Um, and I know there are students from different parts of the world, so maybe your statement could be, I was born in China, I wasn't born in Japan. And perhaps your parents were born in France. So my parents were born in France. And I want you to make a negative statement with that. So they weren't born in, let's say, Spain. All right. Now what we're going to do with this activity is we are going to be expressing the statements. For example, which is the correct use? He was born in Spain. He were born in Spain, he weren't born in Spain. What is the correct answer? He was born, he was, he was born, he was born, he was born, born in Spain. In Spain. Born. All right, I would like for you to pairs and complete the exercise. Work in pairs and complete the exercise. Let's go.
All right, let's look at the first one, number two. Number two, Davy, number two. You should say my parents. You should say my parents. Were in France. Were in France. My parents were. Were in France. In, that's right. My parents were in France. Uh, go ahead, uh, Davy. Select somebody, please, for number three. Davy, select somebody, please, for number three. Oh, okay. Daniel Melendez. Daniel Melendez, number three, please. Where were you born? Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. I was in born in Peru. Very good. Correct. Select somebody for number four. Carlos Calderón. Carlos Calderón. Thank you, <laughs> Go ahead. Number four, Carlos. Number four, my wife and I in Mexico. The, the answers were. Were, correct. My wife Plus and Mr. I. Carlos. My wife and I Mexico. were in Mexico. Number five. Teen, Brian Gonzalez. Uh, the English quiz a uh, little difficult. The English quiz uh, was a little difficult. Was is correct. Excellent work. All right, guys. We are going to stop right here. Please continue working on the platform. And we see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night, Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night, Good night everybody. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs>